it's my mission, and I've been there, and I know what's right and I know what's wrong now. So I think it's important for me to continue to change the narrative and change the mindset. That's what it starts with, is a caring adult who is willing and wants to make a difference in a child's life because we know that that's what's going to help change the outcome and their trajectory. The story has been well documented, uh, but I think hearing sort of the words out of his own mouth of how, you know, growing up in poverty starting at the age of three to, you know, being arguably, you know, one of the greatest offensive linemen in, in the history of the NFL. Um, and, you know, at times I'm sure he'd probably want to give up and, and just sort of, you know, be a part of... Uh, you know, what, what he grew up in and then to say I, I have a mindset change and I'm going to look forward to getting myself out of the situation, breaking the, uh, you know, breaking the cycle and, and then now creating a better life for him and his, and his, and his family uh, is certainly, certainly inspirational. It's absolutely amazing uh, to finally get out there to, to be able to push that message and show people what we're doing and have it, you know, become tangible. I know a lot of people talk. Uh, about doing things and giving back, but you know we really want to be hands-on and and want to be able uh, to to show people the progress and show uh, people where their efforts going. To have a story, I mean, just that continue to touch people and raise awareness to, I mean, to keep opening those doors for the youth and the generations coming up. And it, it, you can never get it never gets old. Oh, listening to Michael speak and hearing the, the fortitude, the strength that he had um, to achieve what he's achieved, and now he's giving back. And that's what we need more of. We need people to recognize that with the right resources, a child can develop into a person that can give back to the community and have an impact. To experience the actual man, it's just great, you know, just his um, ability to keep going on his, his uh, strength to strive for what he wanted. When he walked uh, on to the campus of Old Miss, you know, he knew he was going to play some football, but he wanted to make sure he had that education, too, to fall back on. And uh, you can see that that ended up being very important to him. He had an injury, and he was able to fall back on his education. And now he's helping young people today with their education. It's just great to hear. It's a refresher. It charges my battery to say that, you know, you can help and if somebody is listen, listening. He is investing in kids, but they are also investing in themselves. It's not just a one year commitment, like they're committing to these kids um, for four years and I'm sure it will be beyond that. So you know, I hope that we can start to do some things like that here in Albany because unfortunately at the end of the day, uh, our kids are the same no matter where they come from when you're talking about being socially and economically disadvantaged. That's why I'm doing what I'm doing every day because it, it, it actually works, and uh, the perseverance, uh, it, it's the key to everything.